Hello everyone. This is Ruchi Kaushik from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today we are going to discuss about how to configure searchable lookup with a pop-up search window in E360. So agenda for today's topic is difference between searchable lookup and classic lookup, hub console configuration, provisioning tool configuration and demo in entity E360. So introduction. In MDM Searchable lookup refers to the field in Entity E360 which allows the selection of a record via search or a query pop-up window. It is different from classic lookup which are displayed as a classic drop-down list. Prerequisite for searchable lookup, hub console and provisioning application. Configuration overview, hub console configuration. We are, uh, we are going to create a new base object test with the lookup indicator disabled create a new test ID field in a party base object and add relationship to the test row ID object and in provisioning tool in the provisioning tool create a business entity based on the test base object in party business entity add a new entry under the node lookup fields and select the bus uh, business entity in the base object now demo part so in demo part first we will go to schema we will select our database I am having MDM sample connect to your database in base object first acquire write lock now add item I am going to add display name as test so my physical name is C test ok so now I am having the new base object test base object so in which only one uh, uh, column is present which is row id object now I can add multiple columns according to my need so I am here adding test name test role I am adding these two columns here and saving the data and will save it now I am having test name, test role and row id object then go to party table in columns add new column that is test id and save it after that we are going to create a relationship between party table and the test table so for that we will create new relationship so we will select test id and from test table we will select row id object so now we are having a relationship between test id and test row id object present so after that moving forwards to the provisioning tool configuration in provisioning tool go to modeling section business entity we will create new business entity based on test base object I am giving you a name as test label as test will select the base object see test here apply the changes now I am having a test business entity here I can so I will add fields according to my requirements so I will add the fields so first I will add test ID here I will select row ID object apply now we will create for test name Now we'll select the column, the test name, apply. Now for test rule, test rule. Now we'll select the column, test rule here, apply. After that, go to person business entity under lookup fields, uh, create new field that is test id test id 
and we'll select the uh, we'll select the object here test and apply the changes after that we will create a view on the same person entity view person view go to fields now create new field that is test id field now apply after that we'll go to transformation go to transformation business entity to view person to person view transformation direct now we'll add new transformation between test id and test id view so i'm selecting test id here selecting test id from view select apply the changes similarly we will go to view to business entity person view to person transformation we'll add new transformation here between test id after that we'll publish the changes so create new business entity view on test view so here i have created that similarly go for transformation test to test view transformation and view to business entity transformation test view to test transformation so similarly you can uh, do the configuration for test and test view now moving forward towards the e360 now we will go for new we will choose person okay and now we are going to create a new business entity let me select my name only job title software engineer and for test id now we are getting a searchable lookup so right now we don't have any saved queries for that so we will create the saved query and we will get that one here and accordingly we can have the data from that saved query to our person business entity so i have created one query for test based on based on the row id object right now i don't have any data first i will save one data save one record for this uh, test table and we'll check for the person then so now i have inserted one data now i will run the query now i am getting one data test role as manager and test name as test now go to new person now we will create new i will create my name only now for test id we'll create we'll run the query now we'll select this one now ha i am having the value of test id as 1 here now i will save the data so in this way we can configure the searchable lookup with the search window in e360 via provisioning yes so summary for then we have learned configuration and provisioning tool creating new business entity in provisioning creating uh, creating lookup field under a person business entity and the demo part references docs and kb article for the portal for more information so uh, you can uh, refer mdm configuration guide entity e360 guide and provisioning guide all 10.4 version you can uh, you can also check the kb article this one for more information regarding this we would love to hear from you at support video at the rate informatica.com or as well as on twitter.com at info support so that's all for today's discussion thank you thank you everyone